What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. Today I have some sycamore on the deck and sycamore is really good for furniture making, especially good for carving. Uh, so it's, it's great for a lot of things. These are pretty big logs, especially this first one here. I mean, this is just a beast. Part of the reason why they're so big is because we're going to quarter saw them. And the thing about quarter sawing is this might look like a giant, well, it might look like a big log now, but once we get it all cut up and quarter sawn, it's, it's really just tiny pieces that you can get out of it. So the bigger, the better for quarter sawing, even though those first few cuts are just going to be insane. Once we get this rolled up onto the mill, the first thing that we're going to do is cut it right through the center. And then we're going to turn it and cut it the other way through the center. So there, there you get it. That's why it's called quarter sawing. Because this is such a big log and sycamore is a very strong, hard wood, it's gonna be hard to cut through those first two cuts because of how, just how big this log is. But you can see once we get it quarter sawn or quartered into four pieces that it's really only half the width of that is going to be your wide, widest board out of each piece. So, you know, a lot of them are only going to be small. So even with a log this big, so you see how a smaller log wouldn't really work to quarter saw. That is a downfall to doing it this way, but it's worth it in the end because quarter sawn lumber is some of the nicest, most beautiful, strongest boards that you'll ever come across. All right, let's roll this onto the mill here and get to quarter sawing. That is a lot heavier than hemlock. Sheesh. So now I have one quarter left on the mill. The other pieces are waiting on the arm and we are ready to start cutting our lumber. Now the idea with quarter selling is that the grain is going like that on the board. It's going uh, vertical. I don't know if you can see my little markings, but you want the grain to go that way. Like, so like, if the board's like that, and you want the grain to be going vertical like that and that's what's going to make your board really nice and sturdy and strong. What I did last time I quarter sawed was I actually did it exactly like you, you see I drew it out. I actually took off the bottom board so I literally cut off the bottom board first which is super wonky and just backwards in my mind but it worked out fine it did take a lot of time and the other thing that i didn't like about taking the bottom board off every time was that then you are so close to the mill bed and your uh, little dogs and clamp and everything and 
There's no safety thing installed at the mill to prevent you from hitting those with the blade. So, I mean, for me, it's just a lot safer if we try and figure out a different way to do this. So now I have my log turned so that the core is on this side. You can actually see that because you can actually see how it's a little bit different color there. That's kind of helpful actually, especially when you're the one running the mill here. But you can see that those pieces are the pieces that are going to be quarter sawn. Maybe, probably four boards actually in there and then the rest is going to be what's called rift because and rift is when it's like a 45 degree angle instead of completely vertical and that's technically it's not really possible to cut quarter sun without also getting rift and you just have to separate them out uh, this is going for flooring and it's going to be resawn anyhow so it's not really that big of a deal because they're, they're gonna sort through it and find what they want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to uh, just plain saw it basically all the way down uh, from here. And the first few pieces aren't really going to be plain saw. They're gonna be what's called rift. You can see my uh, marks there. If the board's like that, it's going to be at an angle. So those boards are gonna be rift. And then once I get about halfway down, that's when it starts being quarter saw and stuff and I'm going to be cutting this at one and one eighth thickness. I think that that will leave plenty of room for them to work with with their planers or whatever they do for their flooring. So let's get to cutting this and we'll see how it turns out here. So we are finally done with that log. It took us forever because you're technically cutting four logs. You're, I mean, you're cutting one giant log into four pieces and then treating each piece like its own log. So technically it would make sense that it takes significantly longer, which says something for why it is so expensive. But oh my gosh, damn, we got a lot of lumber out of that. I mean, hardly anything came off as waste. We got a few very small slabs off, no flitches. So this is what you see here. This is all we got out of the log. And also leaving that one side on prevents you from having to take another slab off of each piece. So that really, that really saves with the waste as well. Uh, but we got a lot of lumber. I mean, we, Jade and I were sitting here thinking, was the log even that big? I mean looks bigger than the log. 
Well, thanks for watching everyone. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time.